The Great Spots in the Solar System The Great Red Spot is a persistent high-pressure region in the atmosphere of Jupiter, producing an anticyclonic storm that is the largest in the solar system. It is the most recognizable feature on Jupiter. Measuring in at 10,159 miles, 16,350 kilometers, in width, as of April 3, 2017, Jupiter's Great Red Spot is 1.3 times as wide as Earth. It is a massive anticyclonic storm that has been raging for centuries. A composite image of Earth to depict the size and depth of Jupiter's Great Red Spot. This true color image offers a natural color rendition of what the Great Red Spot and surrounding areas would look like to human eyes from Juno's position. The tumultuous atmospheric zones in and around the Great Red Spot are clearly visible. Winds around Jupiter's Great Red Spot are simulated in this Juno cam view that has been animated using a model of the winds there. Winds around the edge of the spot peak at about 432 km per hour, 268 miles per hour. As Voyager 1 approached Jupiter in 1979, it took images of the planet at regular intervals. This sequence is made from 66 images taken once every Jupiter rotation period, about 10 hours. These time-lapse movie images were acquired using the blue filter from January 6 to February 3, 1979. The spacecraft flew from 58 million kilometers to 31 million kilometers from Jupiter during that time. Great White Spot of Saturn Every 20 to 30 years, Saturn's atmosphere roils with giant, planet-encircling thunderstorms that produce intense lightning and enormous cloud disturbances. The head of one of these storms, popularly called Great White Spots, in analogy to the Great Red Spot of Jupiter, can be as large as Earth. Unlike Jupiter's spot, which is calm at the center and has no lightning, the Saturn spots are active in the center and have long tails that eventually wrap around the planet. This near true color view was obtained by Cassini at a distance of approximately 1.9 million kilometers from Saturn and at a Sun Saturn spacecraft angle of 71 degrees. The image was taken on December 24, 2010. Three weeks after the storm erupted, it stretched 6,000 miles north to south and 11,000 miles east to west. Crisscrossing winds sheared the storm clouds, and 12 weeks after the storm began, the clouds had wrapped around the entire planet. If an equivalent storm took place on Earth, it would blanket most of North America top to bottom and circle the globe. The Great Dark Spot was a huge spinning storm in the southern atmosphere of Neptune which was about the size of the entire Earth. Winds in this storm were measured at speeds of up to 2,400 km per hour, 1,500 miles per hour. These were the strongest winds ever recorded on any planet in the solar system. It was first discovered in the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew by Neptune in 1989. This picture of Neptune was produced from the last whole planet images taken by the Voyager 2 narrow angle camera. The images were taken at a range of 7.1 million kilometer from the planet. The image shows three features that Voyager 2 has photographed during its flyby. At the north, top, is the great dark spot, accompanied by bright, white clouds that undergo rapid changes in appearance. To the south of the Great Dark Spot is the bright feature that Voyager scientists have nicknamed Scooter. Still farther south is the feature called Dark Spot 2, which has a bright core. Each feature moves eastward at a different velocity, so it is only occasionally that they appear close to each other, such as at the time this picture was taken. Neptune's Great Dark Spot 
a large anticyclonic storm similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot, observed by NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft in 1989. This color composite image was taken at a distance of 2.8 million kilometers. The smallest structures that can be seen are of an order of 50 kilometers. The image shows feathery white clouds that overlie the boundary of the dark and light blue regions. The pinwheel, spiral, structure of both the dark boundary and the white cirrus suggest a storm system rotating counterclockwise. When the Hubble Space Telescope looked at Neptune in 1994, the great dark spot was gone and a different dark spot had appeared in the northern atmosphere of Neptune. This Hubble Space Telescope snapshot of the dynamic blue-green planet Neptune reveals a monstrous dark storm, top center, and the emergence of a smaller dark spot nearby, top right. The giant vortex, which is wider than the Atlantic Ocean, was traveling south toward certain doom by atmospheric forces at the equator when it suddenly made a U-turn and began drifting back northward. Hubble uncovered the giant storm in September 2018 in Neptune's northern hemisphere. The large feature is roughly 7,400 kilometers, 4,600 miles, across. The estimated width of the smaller spot is 6,276 kilometers, 3,900 miles. A dark vortex large enough to engulf two-thirds of the United States was discovered by astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope. This is the first definitive images of a dark spot on Uranus. The elongated feature measures 1,100 miles by 1,900 miles, 1,700 kilometers by 3,000 kilometers. Sunspots are dark, planet-sized regions of strong magnetic fields on the surface of the Sun. They can cause powerful bursts of energy, solar flares and solar eruptions which can impact satellites and navigation signals, or even knock out electric power grids. Sunspots are very large structures. Although they look small against the backdrop of the Sun, which has a diameter of 1.4 million kilometers, 870,000 miles, most sunspots could swallow a planet. Many sunspots are as large as Earth. Most spots range in size from about 1,500 kilometers, 932 miles, to around 50,000 kilometers, 31,068 miles, in diameter. Occasionally gigantic sunspots the size of Jupiter appear on the sun's surface. They appear dark because they are cooler than the surrounding photosphere. Larger and darker sunspots sometimes are surrounded, completely or partially, by penumbrae. The dark centers are umbrae. The smallest, immature spots are sometimes called pores. 